Oh, we only have two more comics on uh, for the graduation show until your headliner comes up. And your next comic coming to the stage has more ink on his tattoos than Donald Trump had on his prenup. Please give it up for Lee Stevens. Thank you. I'm recently uh, remarried. Yeah, I, I wouldn't clap for that either. <laughs> Getting remarried is like breaking back into jail. <laughs> trouble with my new wife. Uh, she sends me out to get dog food, and I come home, she says, you got the wrong dog food. It, it, he doesn't like the taste. I find that kind of odd, since about an hour before I went to get the dog food, he was sitting on the carpet with his leg up, licking his balls. <laughs> and then an hour before that, he had his head in a cat litter box, chewing on about a three, three and a half kit, inch cat turd. <laughs> but the Yukonuba, chicken and rice, some of the beef broth, he doesn't like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time I had to get the catch it uh, dog ball flavor. <laughs> she sends me out to get a movie. My new wife sends me out to get a movie. I said, we'll make amends here. And uh, she says she wants to see Iron Man. So halfway to the store, I'm thinking, I saw Iron Man. I, I don't want to get it. So I got this movie called Stuttering Man. And I can't blame her for getting mad this time because Stuttering Man was a great movie, but it was nine hours long. <laughs> we decided to go on vacation, so she tells me, listen, you gotta get airline tickets. I never did this before in life, so it's easy. You put in the, the departing city, the ending city, the time when you hit Anna. I did that. I got 10 pages of airfares. 10. And then some genius asked me, do you want these listed highest to lowest or lowest to highest? <laughs> no, give it, yeah. I want the highest ticket. Tell me, the, show me the tickets that are going to cost me 14 grand to go from Albany to Orlando. <laughs> of course I want the lowest fucking tickets. <laughs> if I did, my administrative assistant would be doing this. Not again, tattoos. <laughs> and uh, we're going to Orlando, we're sitting on the right-hand side, which is good, because on the left-hand side, there's nothing out there but water. So we're sitting there writing down, and all of a sudden, about an hour into the flight here, if you look out the uh, right side of the plane, you will see them building a new Walmart in Richmond, Virginia. I'm almost about as impressed as you are right now. <laughs> about a half hour later, I, I don't believe... Look out into the Atlantic, I don't, there's Jesus Christ on a jet ski. And Moses is riding with him. And they're pulling Copernicus on skis. Ah, Copernicus just fell. Don't worry, Moses just parted the Atlantic Ocean on the left side of the plane. Or was that a wrong side? So we get to Orlando. My wife wants to go to an amusement park. She wants to go down on a water slide. I tell her, I don't do water slides. And I'll tell you why. Late in the day in Orlando, when it's 95 degrees, when you're coming down that water slide, the only thing that's waiting for you is a big pool of ass soup. <laughs> now, if you look over to the right, you probably see a men's room. You look over to the left and you'll see the water slide. I never saw a men's room in between the two. And you know there's probably some guy like Big Tony going, <laughs> close enough, I'm going down the water slide anyway. <laughs> so we settle for this ride called the rocket. We get in this ride, we strap in, the ride takes off. It shoots us five stories straight up, high rate of speed. We stop, my head snaps back, it snaps forward, and look, my nuts are still I don't know the attendant. They never left. He was as surprised as I was. And then the whole package is coming up at a high rate of speed. All 45 feet of it. It was right by my head. 
let me tell you, everybody in this room, including Scott, will vouch for the fact that when your own nuts go flying by your forehead, it probably won't be a good day. like this, up and down. That was me and my nuts. Yeah. All right, so uh, I, that was too much excitement for me that day, so I said, let's go back to the room. I, I, you know, I want to relax and watch some TV. We get back to the room, we turn the TV on, the first thing I see is a commercial. I hate commercials. <laughs> you ever see that, that commercial for that, that weight? that you hang on and it shakes. <laughs> they call it the shake weight. There we go. They sh shake like me. Don't get ahead of me over there. Yes, this is my big chance. You hold the shake, it shakes. All right? It makes me big and strong. Let me tell you, hold it on to something and shake it and make me big and strong, I'd have been muscle bound by 13. <laughs> is the male enhancement. Holy oh, jeez. Yeah, if I hear that one more time, male enhancement. Do you feel inadequate? <laughs> is your penis too small? <laughs> just once, just once before I die, I want to hear. Ladies, is your vagina too big? <laughs> anything because he's not hitting a thing in there. <laughs> when a goes down on you, do they hear the ocean? <laughs> Ladies, do you feel like you're the Liberty Bell? And your husband's the clapper? And he has to swivel his hips back and forth just to get a sound out of you. <laughs> well, ladies, we have help. Preparation B, it shrinks a large vagina. that I fell for it, and, and I, I, I sent away for it. It was called the clapper. Remember the clapper? Clap on, clap off. It's activated by two things slapping together. <laughs> All right, my genius, you know where I installed it? I installed it in the bedroom. Like making love to a fucking strobe light. <laughs> there was so much flashing in there, I wasn't sure. I, I wasn't sure she was having an orgasm or an epileptic seizure. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank